Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Darius in the third video on Rhythm DB, and in this and in this video, we'll be seeing how we can create a table and also insert a, a field into it using the example uh, that was given by the official team of Rhythm DB. So I'll be recreating it uh, in a different way. So let us uh, start it off. So as you can see over here, we have the code from the previous video, which was R equal to require Rhythm DB, which will uh, allow us to use Rhythm DB easily. After that, we'll be using our dot .connect with a host called localhost and we give a port of 28015 which is the basic uh, default for uh, client drivers to connect. After that, we have a function of error and connection and this connection will be used in uh, the further uh, application which will be creating a table in the database. So, as I told you in the uh, previous video, we have a default the database called test as you can see over here uh, this test database is created by default when you start uh, when you start off uh, rethink db.exe so after that uh, you can just, just go to uh, dot uh, table create is a method and uh, as you can see we have tv shows in the uh, commented out so over here i can just create something called countries and let us see uh, what happens let us see what happens so after that uh, run connection and then we also have a function of error and a result that is given so open it up and then we uh, let us give it uh, a, a statement saying if uh, if there is an error then throw an error after that console.log result so this is about it to uh, this is how you can directly start off creating a table so all you, all you need to do is use the table create method and also run the connection which was saved by this function so after that you can also uh, give a function of error and then a result and the result can be consoled out so what i mean to say is it can be uh, given in the logs after that uh, as you can see over here we have something called r.table where you are referring to the table that you have just created and the table that I have created uh, right now is countries so it has not yet been created but uh, we are in the process of uh, coding we are in the process of scripting for it so over here I'll, I'll tell you to insert a name called India because mine's India so after that I can also say that you know it's uh, actually I can also say capital would be uh, New Delhi and then with this I also need to run the connection so I'll be running a connection and then I'll and then I'll pass a function called error with a result and this will again have if there is an error then throw an error and then console.log the result so that's about it that's uh, the simplest easiest way to create a table of course there's another uh, pretty much easier way which is to go directly over here and add a database or add a table over here where you can give the entries but other than that this is a uh, this is the way how you do it via scripting so let us start and uh, go directly to the script let us run the script so we here as you can see we have sample.js already present so i'll just run it all right so as you can see over here we have run a lot of things and we have uh, a lot of consoled out as well so as you can see over here we have config changes and uh, you can see that there is an inserted column over here so it says that inserted 1, skipped 0, replaced 0, deleted 0, error 0, all these are 0. So we have very wonderful documentation over here. Uh, you can uh, wonderful uh, logs over here every time you create something. So as you can see over here we have created something. We have created a table called countries. So I can click on it and I can open it and I can see what all, what all exists over here. <clears throat> Alright, so over here you can see that uh, we have uh, test.countries, countries being the table, 
and we can see that in the shards we can see that it says there are two keys over here so similarly what you can do is that since we have already created a, a table you can now exclude this out Alright, so now what we can do is that we can again run this. We can now say that you know you can give. Alright, so you can give any other uh, country right now. So let us say France and the capital being Paris or Paris or whatever you call it. So we have we can run this again so that now we get one more insertion, one more table, one more uh, row uh, gets inserted. So now as I saved it and I'll run it again so let me just alright so as you can see over here inserted as one right now and you can see that it has generated keys and all these things so once we go back once we go back we see that we have four keys over here and this can uh, keep continuing on so as I said you don't have to create the table again because we have already created it so you're just referring to the table called countries and you're inserting it it's quick and it's simple and it's so so fast so you can just go ahead and try it so you can also uh, you can also do it uh, you can also uh, give it uh, indentation like this for it to run uh, for you to uh, see better so dot insert dot run it can it can go on and on so after this uh, as a last thing i'll also insert another uh, another uh, country so let us say china and we have china Beijing. all right so let me run it once again So as you can see we have inserted one more and right now if I refresh this it says six keys have been added and ten documents uh, all, all these things I'll be explaining in the next uh, video so that's it guys that's it how you can uh, that we just create it and you can also view it I'll be showing you how you can view it in the next video alright guys thanks a lot for watching see you in the next video bye bye